So in this video I'm going to go through an example integration question using the power rule. So the power rule is written here and it states that when you integrate x to the power of n with respect to x, it goes to x to the power of n plus 1 all divided by n plus 1 and then we have to add on this constant of integration here which is c. And this power rule works when n is not equal to minus 1. So n could be 4, 0, or minus 3, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's not minus 1, because we have a different rule for that, which we'll cover in a later video. So here's our question. And when you're integrating lots of power terms added together and taken away, you can take each step um, on its own. So each term on its own, sorry. So we'll do that and apply the power rule to them. So x to the power of 4, in this situation, 4 is our n. And what we have to do is add on 1 to our power, so that's 4 plus 1, and then divide it all by n plus 1, which is 4 plus 1. Then we move on to our next term. The minus just stays the same there. And then we have 3x squared. In this situation, 2 is our power, that's n. So we have to add on 1 to that. And then divide it all by n plus 1, so that's 2 plus 1. Then here we have x on its own, and there's essentially a 1 there because anything to the power of 1 is just itself. But if we think about it like this, n is 1. So we have plus x to the power of 1 plus 1, all divided by 1 plus 1. Then when you have any number on its own, to integrate it, it just goes to that number multiplied by x. So this goes to 9x. So that's true for any number, so it could be 1, that would integrate to x, 5, that would integrate to 5x, and so on. Then we can tidy this up a bit. So 4 plus 1 is 5, so that's x to the power of 5 divided by 5. Then we have minus 3x cubed divided by 3, plus x squared divided by 2, plus 9x plus our c, which I've got to add on there, that's important, remember c. Then I can tidy this up even more, so here is x to the power of 5 divided by 5, you can write it as 1 fifth x to the power of 5, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Then here our threes cancel, so that becomes minus x cubed, again I'm just going to leave this term as it is, so that's plus x squared divided by 2. My 9x stays the same, and our constant integration stays the same as well. And that's our final answer there.